Hello everyone. In this video, we'll be talking about MSTY or MISTY or however that is pronounced. Uh, it's actually a very new uh, AI tool which actually lets you chat with a lot of different models. It gives you a lot of dif uh, different like prompting capabilities. And it, in fact, I think it's like an amazing model because it has something that the other models do not have by default. So by the way, in terms of the software, it is actually free forever for personal use. But if you want to use it commercially, then it's like $50 per user per year. And you get like a lot of priority support and all of that stuff. But we are on the free version, so we'll be just downloading it. So for me, it's uh, Mac with Apple Silicon, but for you, it might be Windows 64. If you have an AMD GPU or NVIDIA GPU, or if it's just CPU only. If you have a GPU version, in fact, that would be very nice because it would run a bit faster. Anyways, I have the Apple Silicon Mac, so uh, I'll just click on it. It will download very quickly. Uh, in fact, I already have the file, so I'm just gonna you know, double click on it and I'll just uh, install it in my MacBook. Once this is installed, what I'm gonna do is, let's just go back here and uh, we will actually uh, open up the app. So let's just open the app. It's gonna ask me because I'm on a MacBook, it's gonna ask me, hey, are you sure you wanna open this? But yeah, let's just bypass this. Uh, once we do that, it will open up in a window and it's going to ask me a few questions that, hey, do I want to set up a local AI or do I want to uh, like add remote models? Uh, I already have Olama, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, but for you guys, I think, uh, you know what, you should just let this be as it is. And I think you should just click on the add remote models provider. Uh, if you want to download uh, Olama, once again, uh, you can just go to Olama, like this website, which is olama.com. You can just download it for like Windows, Mac OS, or Linux. Uh, it will automatically detect it. Uh, you can do that if you want. If you don't want to, that's completely fine as well. Uh, so yeah, I'll just go back here. Now it's gonna ask me, hey, what model provider do we wanna use? So here I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna go to open router. Hopefully that's visible for you guys. And then I'm gonna paste in uh, the key, that API key. Now, how do I get the API key is actually very simple. So in your browser, what I want you guys to do is go to open router dot ai and then go to settings and then key so once again this is the website uh, open router okay this has a lot of different ai models and all of them can be used with just one api don't worry it's completely free right so you all you have to do is just create an account or log in through google and then go to keys okay so once you go to keys you can actually create a new key uh, i already have a key but you know just to make sure uh, i don't leak my key so let's just create a new one so I'll just write for YouTube short. Create it. Now it's going to show me the key and it will be only shown to me once. Okay. Do not try to copy this key. It's not going to actually uh, be available. I'm going to delete the key after the video. So don't bother. Anyways, let's just go back to Misty. And here I'm just going to paste the API key. Okay. Once again, I'll just show it to you guys, but there's no point in copying it. Uh, I can, you can just save it uh, inside your keychain. Now here, we can actually filter the available models. But what I want you guys to do is just type free. So every model that is free available here, it's gonna show up. So I'm just gonna click on every single free model. Uh, once again, there are a lot of different models that you can use. There's Phi Medium, there's Phi Mini, uh, there's like Meta Llama, uh, you have Llama 3, Llama 3.1. But once again, we're just gonna click on all of them, okay? I'm gonna click on add. Once that is done, our chat has started like this this is it like it looks like chat gpt and it's similar to chat gpt but what we do is we can select the model from here so let's select uh, llama 3.1 right this is one of the smartest models now before i even start i can actually set model instructions so i can say that hey instead of a helpful assistant i can tell it that hey you are a world class python programmer Okay, so we'll just tell that to the model. And so the model will remember that. And the, once again, we are just basically gaslighting the model into, you know, knowing that. So now if I ask a question that, hey, uh, it's going to answer me, you know, that, hey, what, what can I code for you today? Do you have a project in mind or would you like me to suggest an idea? If it was a helpful assistant, so let's just create a new chat. And once again, there is no more, uh, like we haven't given any prompt. And if I just say, hey, it's going to be like, hey, what's up? How can I help you, right? So once again, this is for coding and this is for like for normal. You can once again customize it. The another best feature that this has is this button, which is uh, it allows for real time data, right? So for example, now if I ask it, so let's just turn off the data for once. 
and let us ask um, who is common there is yeah right so if we ask this this model might not know so it might say hey i cannot find any notable uh, you know individuals by the name of common virus yeah maybe he's a private individual we don't know okay now let's just turn on this button which allows for real time data which allows this you know this program to actually serve the internet so if i now write hey who is common virus yeah and if i hit enter now it's actually going to search google and other websites just like perplexity and then it's going to try to actually give me some answer, right? So let's just see uh, what happens. Maybe the internet's a bit slower. Maybe we'll create a new chat, but let's just see. Yeah, hi. Sorry, I just had to create a new chat. Uh, it, it wasn't working uh, well with that. So anyways, uh, you can see uh, now that I asked that, hey, who is Aman Verisia? It actually made a search result. So it's like, hey, profession, Aman is an ethical hacker trainer at a university, blah, blah, blah. It's a bit outdated, but hey, Calendar Dude Pro made it. Like he's the CEO of Calendar Dude Pro, right? Uh, yeah, once again, Aman is a student living in Ahmedabad. Yeah, that's a very old information that is getting through about me. But you can see the sources. Like it, it went to LinkedIn. Uh, once again, a bit outdated information. Uh, then we have GitHub and then so on and so forth. It went through like, you know, Twitter and then like my Instagram and like Facebook and stuff. So yeah, even Medium, it actually, in fact, picked up a blog, which a student of mine has written about uh, me, shout out to Partho. Uh, but like, yeah, you, you like this is showing up, right? So I can once again remove the sources and regenerate, but I can now access real time information, right? So I can even ask it, for example, about, um, let's, uh, let's ask about something that is, uh, you know, recent. So let's just ask about the debate, right? So recently there was a presidential debate. So uh, what, is the summary of the debate that was between Trump and Kamala. So once again, that's a real time info. This model has no way to actually know that, but yeah, right? So now this is the entire debate summary or whatever. So we are finding information in real time. Uh, let's just try one more just to like hammer the point home. Uh, what was announced in the recent apple glow time event okay uh so yeah now it's giving us information like hey iphone 16 series was announced then watch 10 or airports for uh, like four and stuff so once again this is real time information right now that's not just it we can actually do much 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 more interesting stuff with that what do i mean by that so if i actually go to settings over here so in general, once again, you can change the uh, stuff, you know, you can change all of this. You can also go to the local uh, AI system. So where you can actually download your own models. Once again, we could do this with Olama if you want to. If you don't want to, that's completely fine. And then we have the remote model providers. Once again, you can add a new provider. You can actually add Grok AI as well. Once again, that's completely free. You can do that as well. Or you can just, you know, add Olama. Right, so I already have Olama, so let's just try running Olama. So if I go to local AI, and if I actually click on start, hopefully it will try to automatically uh, pick up. I guess if it does not, then we'll just have to find the Olama uh, stuff. But yeah, once again, you can configure it. I'm not gonna try to if it doesn't work right now. Mm. Yeah, let's see if it actually picks it up. Though I'm not sure. Yeah, I think you just have to do it like once at the start, uh, which which kind of sucks. Uh, but you know what? Let's debug in real time. When has that ever hurt? Okay, so I think the Olama models are at. Uh, is there a directory called Olama? Yeah, and then there's models. Okay, perfect. So let's just go to dot olama and then it's models and let's just confirm and let's let's see yeah it's running okay do we have olama working then let's just do a new chat yeah so we have three models so i have gemma and then i have quen and i also have llama 3.1 so if i write hey right now this is happening locally Right. So once again, uh, oh, yeah, this model is from uh, Alibaba group. So yeah, the Chinese makes sense. But anyways, you understand the point, right? Let's just try Gemma just to hammer the point home. Once again, all of this is happening locally. The text generation is happening locally as well. Uh, it might struggle because Gemma is a big model. Uh, but yeah, right. And let's just stop this before we 
yeah once again you can download all the models from here if you want but let's just uh, stop this before our uh, recording crashes okay that's one thing now what else can we do right so we have this entire prompts library so you can actually go through all of this that instead of you know writing that hey you are uh, this python person or whatever so if i go to uh, you know setting the model instructions if i click on this button this gives me the prompt directory so if i just write let's say coding or if i just write code then it will be like a uh, code clarifier code consultant you know uh, let's just write python uh, interpreter uh, it will give you python code you will execute it do not provide any execution so now it will behave like such right so on and so forth there are so many different options my favorite feature is knowledge stacks now for knowledge stacks you kind of have to use local ai models so i'm just going to click on that it will actually try to download an embedding model using uh, olama so i'll just give permission for you what embedding model means is you can actually give it a pdf or a youtube link and it will actually try to use that to uh, you know like actually uh, you can have now a chat with that uh, pdf so let's just you know let it download and let's just talk in a while all right perfect so it seems like we have downloaded the model it was like 700 mb so now i can actually just use this button which says add your first knowledge stack and once again we have a lot of different options i can just write the title as uh, youtube uh, in your case it could be pdf it could be anything okay once again the name doesn't matter now you can actually add files you can drag and, uh, drag and drop like pdf csv json files you know you can do all of that you can actually send your entire obsidian vault you can actually give folders right then you can actually write your own custom notes and my favorite is using youtube links so i can actually go here and i can actually add a link to a YouTube video and then it, I can talk to that YouTube video. Now, what do I mean? So let's just open up, uh, you know, YouTube really quick. Let's just search for, uh, not waveform, let's just search for autofocus. And uh, let's just search for Rivian, okay? So there's this uh, autofocus channel. Once again, shout out to MKBHD. Once again, he doesn't need the shout out, but hey, whatever. So let's just say there's this video, okay? I'm gonna copy the link to this video and it's Rivian R2 hands-on impressions, okay? So if I go back to here and if I just paste the link, let's just remove the extra fluff that is not needed. And if I just click on compose, what's it going to do is it's going to download the transcription of this video. Okay. While we are speaking, it's actually downloading the transcription and then it's going to, you know, embed all of that and it's going to make sense of all of that. And then we'll be able to talk to this video. Okay. So it's actually going quite fast. It's just a 15 minute video. So once this is done, it will tell us that, hey, you are now ready to chat. So we'll just close this. Okay. And let's just open up a new chat and let's talk to, one second, let's talk to 3.1. All right. Now, once again, the internet is off. Uh, the prompts, we are not using any prompts. But here in the knowledge stack, if I click on it, I can click on YouTube, the knowledge stack that we created. The similarity, once again, let it be the default settings. Now, if I say, what is this video about? Or let's just talk about, uh, what are the features of Rivian R2? Once again, Llama has no idea. Like Llama shouldn't know this. It only knows this because of the video itself. If I click on citations, it's like, hey, this is the video that we use. Now, obviously, there's only one video, right? But what is stopping you guys from actually adding multiple links? right you in theory so for example in theory if you go here and if i search for let's say uh python tutorials right let's just write python tutorials right if i go on this channel and let's say i download this let's say uh four hour let's let's just copy this uh let's just go back here uh you know delete this knowledge stack we don't need it anymore and let's just see if, i don't know even if it's possible uh to like download the four hour thing that quickly but let's just try to compose it okay let's see even if it's possible so i'm just gonna you know pause the video here and once it's done i'll resume all right that took a total of what four minutes uh but that seems fine for a what four uh, like four hour long video so once again new chat let's enable the knowledge stack uh once again it's just youtube and i can just ask question about um explain python variables to me Sure, let's just ask that, right? So once again, it's gonna go through the knowledge, right? So it's gonna now tell me how it was explained in the video. And once again, it's using the citations, like, hey, this is the video that I'm using for like stuff. 
and listen this i think this is a very 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 big deal imagine going through your study material you can just add a pdf of your study material and then that's it you can just you know uh, okay i'll just stop the service once again it started because we are using the local embedding model uh, but I, I think this is more than sufficient if you just add pdfs of your study material and if you just you know try to talk to your pdf try to understand you know let your pdf teach you you know, uh, maybe you don't go to college enough, or maybe you don't understand the way your professor teaches you, right? Once again, you can ask questions like, hey, explain Python to me like I'm a five-year-old. This is, once again, amazing. Also, what they are using is something known as RAG, uh, R-A-G. Uh, you can know more about it. Uh, once again, we have an LLM. Let's just ask the LLM. What is RAG in LLMs? Okay, if I just send that message, it's going to be like, hey, RAG stands for, oh, that's not what it stands for. <laughs> it's actually um, something about retrieval augmented generation. But yeah, and so in this case, it actually uh, got it completely wrong. So we can tell it that, hey, you are wrong. It has something to do with retrieving something. Once again, I'm not being specific on purpose. So it's going to be like, hey, yeah, it ha it is actually retrieval augmented generation stuff 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 right once again it it gives you something and maybe it, you don't understand maybe you don't understand what is this about right uh maybe you don't understand the sentence so if i like just select the sentence okay let's just select the sentence uh here and if i write like there's an option which says dwell if i click on that it will actually open up a new chat and it will ask that specific question that hey what does it mean right once again this button if i just click on it it can keep on creating. So once again, this is amazing for research because let's say you want to talk about this paper. That, hey, what was this paper about? If I just, you know, click on 12 again, it's going to now tell me about the paper. Once again, if you give it internet access, this is like amazing. We are like way in, right? Once again, if I want to talk about neural networks, now it's going to tell me what a, what is like graph neural networks. So like that is a GNN, right? Or what is a convolutional layer? So it's going to keep on going. And if I click on this map button, it's going to show me the entire uh, like length. Okay. Also, you can actually go back. So if I, for example, go here and maybe there's something that I don't understand here or, you know, something like that, I can just, you know, open up this specific chat and I can just continue further. Right. That's, that's what I want you to tell. Uh, I want to tell you guys, like, it, this is amazing. You can also like split the chat wherever you want. Uh, but yeah. Isn't this crazy? You can also have multiple uh, models actually talking to each other and stuff. Uh, this is actually a very big, uh, you know, application. I'm not going to go through all the features, but these are the features that I think you guys should know. All right. That's it from my side. If you have any questions, comments, once again, you can let me know in the comments or better yet, why don't you join our WhatsApp community, Easterly? Uh, the link will be in the description. You can just come in the community, ask me questions about, hey, how did I do this? Uh, but yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching.